Wow, it's just really sunshiny, so I'm trying to stay a little bit in the shade so that I can see the screen. Hi, this is Pastor Becky from Transformation Church here in Central Florida. And um, what the Lord laid on my heart is it's never too late for a resurrection. Um, we just returned, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. We just returned from a remarriage. That's why I'm dressed like this. Um, one of our family members um, had gotten divorced after like 30 years and two years later, I don't know all the details, but anyway, they got remarried on their original anniversary. And um, what the Lord said to speak to people and uh, go ahead and heart us. Um, what is it called? Subscribe, uh, like us, share this. But there are people that are watching today and then in the future. Hey, Kim, I can see. I can actually see some of this. It's so bright. My eyes are kind of hard. But anyway, there are people that you've given up on some things in your life and it looks like it already died. And um, the scripture that the Lord laid on my heart for um, today, because um, a lot of times things look like it is too late, but it's never too late with God. And that's what the main word is for today. Um, in John chapter 11, it said um, that basically Lazarus died. And when they found Jesus, they said, um, they, G Martha said to Jesus, you know, if you if you would have been here, you know, he wouldn't have died. You know, where were you? Because he's already been dead four days, and I don't want to go into the whole thing. So you can read it in John chapter 11. And bottom line, Jesus said, you know, well, he can. He, your brother's going to rise again. And she said, well, of course, we're all going to rise again. And he said, but I am the resurrection. I am the life. And um, so the main little theme here today is that even if it looks like it's too late, with God, it's never too late because he can resurrect any situation if it's his, you know, in his plan. So um, it wasn't, it was in, in his plan for um, Lazarus to raise from the dead because it says in here, um, Jesus said, so they took away, he told him, take away the stone. Um, and she was like, are you kidding? Because right now he really stinks. It's been four days. And, um, and in the Jewish culture, they do not embalm. And I don't believe they still do, but they, ne they, don't, they did not embalm in body. So when she, <laughs> so four days of regular decay with no embalming, um, I'm sure this, it would have been a, just a stench, literally. And, and he said, and Jesus lifted up his eyes, and then he said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know you always hear me. But because of the people standing here, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out, and he said, Lazarus, come forth. And he who came, so Lazarus came out dead, hopping around, because he still had all the um, grave clothes on him. And they said, he said, unbind him and let him go. So um, today we got to celebrate. It was beautiful remarriage, um, and we got to celebrate what looked like was dead and gone. And there are two grown children. Um, who are young men that haven't, you know, are not, are not married yet. Um, one actually is in the Navy, and he had to come in for the wedding. Um, we're, we're there to celebrate, and the bride's father actually is still alive and was able to um, walk her down. He and, and her mom walked them down, her down the, the aisle. And um, But most people would have said there was actually no hope for that marriage. There was no hope for that situation. So I don't know what situation you're facing today, but God's saying to you, and you're not watching by accident, there's hope. There's actually, you know, life. He can raise what was dead. Um, even in the Jewish culture, they would believe that after three days, they believe that the spirit will hang around. But after three days happens, they believe that it's no longer, ap you know, possible for the dead to be raised. And obviously he was. And, and um, with God, nothing is impossible. And I also... Um, Felt like God, this is just a sideline. I don't know who this is for, but he told me to share the scripture. Um, Proverbs 3.24 says, When you lie down, you shall not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down, and your sleep shall be sweet. Um, that people that There are people that are suffering with sleep, um, and you've been having all kinds of diff difficulty with insomnia, whether it's from pain or from mental anguish, or just because maybe you don't have enough serotonin in your body. But um, just know... Take a hold of that scripture. I better remember what it is here. Um, Proverbs 3.24 is your scripture today. You go lie down and you're not going to have any fear and you're going to sleep. Because, you know, I, I had problems with insomnia and I was on sleeping medicine, uh, medication for about a year. Um, and, you know, so I can relate to anyone out there that's had that kind of difficulty. I feel like a bug's biting me. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
but um, you actually get anxious and anxiety and fear. It's really what it is. It's fear that you're not going to be able to sleep. So you actually work against your own, you know, create a greater problem. So the Bible, that word that I gave you said you're not going to be afraid. And when the fear wants to come, oh, God, I'm not going to sleep again. Oh, no, here comes that pain again. Oh, no. Um, just say, I will not fear. And I'm going to lay down and sleep and, um, and knowing that God's taking care of everything. And um, so that's for somebody out there as well. This is probably a more unusual Facebook Live. That's really all I have for today. Um, and if that was word for you, that's not just all I had because it, it ministered to what you need. But if you have your, I do sense that there are some people that are in relationships that um, you thought it was just, it's long gone, it's too late. Um, you know, there's never going to, it's never going to come together. And God's saying it's never too late. So with God, all things are impossible. Um, I mean, oh, with God, all things are possible, not impossible. Um, and I, I witnessed it firsthand today. We got to be a part of a celebration of a, mar a remarriage, and till death do they part, um, and it was just a wonderful time. And it, in the natural, these things just don't happen. And I hope the guy that was emceeing, he said, you know, you just can't make this stuff up. Um, and the, the longer I live, I realize you can't. Truth, you know, truth is just stranger than fiction. Um, that, But these are... God doesn't love this couple any more than he loves you and your situation and what you felt like was, um, it's just too late. It is not too late. Repeat that after me. It is not too late. Um, when God's in it, nothing is impossible. And he can bring the dead to life, literally. And whatever that situation is that you've given up on or given up hope on, um, don't lose hope. When God's in it, it just we just need to have you know faith and patience work together. You just have to have faith and patience. So if you are not 100% sure if you were to die today that you would go to heaven, I want to pray a prayer with you because that's just the most important thing that you can do in your entire life is to make your peace with God. So if you'll repeat that prayer with me, say, Heavenly Father, I come to you and I believe Jesus Christ is your only son. I believe that he died on the cross and that was for me that he died that he rose from the grave after three days and he's now sitting in heaven next to you. I ask you to forgive me. I receive your forgiveness. Fill my heart to overflowing with your presence. Fill me up with your Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Take my life and do something with it. Amen. Well, I tell you, if you prayed that prayer with me, when you die, you absolutely 100% are going to heaven, whether it's five seconds from now or 50 years from now, whenever that takes place. And you can rest assured, no matter what, what you are going to heaven. But you do. it, it would be really great for you to get into a good Bible-believing church, one that's spirit-filled, one that believes the truth. And, um, and we invite you to come to Transformation Church if you are in the Central Florida area. We're also looking for um, 5,100, can you tell, I've just, uh, it's been a long day, 51-year missionaries. What does that look like? Well, you, you, just, you dedicate one year, you raise your own funds just like you were going to Africa or New Zealand or wherever, um, Zimbabwe, and you take one year to come to tra to Central Florida and help us plant Transformation Church. You go to transformationchurch.com. Don't delay. Do it right now while I'm talking. You go and, and whenever you see this, I don't care if you see this five months from now, go ahead and do it. Um, you'll go to the About tab. There'll be a drop-down menu. All the way to the right will be One Year Missionary. Um, click on that, fill out the application, and we'll get back with you. Um, and if you're in the in the area and um, you're visiting Mickey Mouse, make sure you come and see us, but find out where we are because we meet in a storefront, so you need to make sure where we, where we're located at the time. So again, nothing is impossible with God. It's never too late for a resurrection. Um, and I really sense it for there are some of you, you actually have been, the devil's been telling you that it's too late for whatever situation there is. It's never too late for a a resurrection. It's never too late with God. Nothing is impossible with God. And he wants to make your sleep sweet. And he doesn't want you to fear about that anymore. And um, I come against the spirit of fear right now in Jesus' name. So be free from the spirit of fear. Receive that sweet sleep. 
receive relationship reconciliations that he, God's brought to your memory that you thought there was no way that, that this thing could be resolved. Um, business deals and, and situations. Um, I even hear him say, you know, you're looking at it the wrong way. Take a different look. Look from a different angle, and you're going to see. Um, you, it's just going to see what you need to see. You're not seeing it correctly at this point. So um, it's never too late. This is Pastor Becky from Transformation Church, and I'll say goodbye to Kim. And anyone that watches this, um, again, like us, heart us, sign up to be a one-year missionary. Come be a part of what we're doing to get this church planted, and I love you. Bye-bye.